Man, you know I'm back in Florida. <laughs> All it's doing is raining out this beach. <laughs> and I'm back home. See, this is what it feel like being home, being in the rain and all that. See, I'm a Floridian. <laughs> you know, people talk about, oh, you must be hot or whatever. Man, I love the humidity. I grew up in this. I'm not hot. I love the humidity. <laughs> so, <laughs> I just got done watching Cito's Acolyte Review. I'm over here crying. So, basically... We got the I don't need a man group <laughs> who just creating stuff. Look, this this is the thing. Okay. This is why I tell people when you sell your product to somebody else and they don't know what they're doing, they don't understand the law of how you created it or the credence that was put into making it the way it was this is the stuff that I talk about and um, people always love to destroy stuff before actually let's see how everything unfolds um, did I have a problem with anything to me the, the whole thing of episode 3 everybody's upset with is that you got two women one carried it the other one basically um, said that she created it so you basically have a new group of witches or I like to call I don't need a man group cause I don't see no men around there unless they're with the Jedi um, the I hate men group we could do it without the men Women love to be tough until it's time to pick up that heavy box and then they looking for the man to help them. But y'all thought you didn't need a man though. Right? Thought you didn't need a man. Now. The two twins were basically seeing that Osha is the one who loves to travel. She wants to be the she wants to be her own person. She's an explorer. We've seen this type of story before. Um, except this with twins this time. Um, May wants to be... May wants to follow what mom wants. What the elders want. Man, go ahead, bro. Fine, dog. <laughs> this idiot was about to run into me. I'm like, bro, just go there. Now, now he rolling on the side of the road, which is dumb. <laughs> but yeah, I'm back in Florida. Now, the I don't need a man group. <laughs> um, May wants to be a part of that. She's like, we're twins. We need to do this together. So we're seeing the backstory of what's going on. Now, basically, a fire started. Because May basically, um, well, the Jedi came. The Jedi, which was um, the one guy, Soul, who's the Asian man. He, um, he's been spying on them for a while. And he lets Carrie Ann Moss character knows and the other two characters that we met watching the regular series know that they're illegally training a kid or they're illegally training kids in the force or whatever I believe um, but they're not a part of the republic so it's like I don't get what they've done wrong if they're not a part of it and plus I don't see what's wrong with training kids in the force um, you saw the lady explain the three different types of force well it's all the same it's just different words or different this and that there are a group of witches that are created which is the I don't need a man click which the other witches that we knew of they were all women so they're a form of witches that have their own cult they basically look like they've segregated themselves from the rest of the galaxy or the rest of whoever else is out there um, now you have um 
now you have um soul basically like yo like we need to you know we need to um you know bring these kids in you know and test them to see if they have the force now i'm looking at their ages and i believe they're two years i think they were two years younger than anakin or anakin might have been or they or or they might have been older than anakin i don't know all i know is i thought they were too old osha wanted to go she looked at the um the wookie um lightsaber user jedi whatever and she was talking with them the other witches were watching her carefully you have both mothers the one mother who loves may looks like she has a problem with osha because osha loves to want to do everything and she wants to do this she wants to do that but osha she's trying to teach like look this is what you need to do there. I guess they're trying to pass down their knowledge or the power to these two girls and they're going to bring a new order of witches or a new order of the I don't need a man click. <laughs> so that's the way it's looking. Um, so basically, you know, talks like they're testing them. They wanted to test them to be a Jedi and everything. And um, they want to go from there. But um, everybody's pissed off because of you got two women. Basically, they're trying to say that they could create the force. Anybody could create kids out of the force like they did with Anakin. Um, and in my expertise is... George Lucas, when he made that, when he sit, when he basically made it like Anakin was created from the Force, you know, you kind of made it where everybody else is going to try to do it themselves. Everybody else is going to try to say, oh, well, this person could do it too. This person could do it too. Here's the thing. We had the mystery of it looked like May was started the fire, but it's starting to look like they're trying to make the Jedi's the bad guys now. Um, it looks like the Jedi may have set fire to everything. They may have killed people. They may have killed um, the people off, and May is basically out looking for revenge. Um, from what I'm looking at it, it looks like they may have killed them off and then they basically um hell they may they may have just said F it. Let's just take this girl with us and try to train her. But I mean she just looks like she's too old to be training. Because if you see in the beginning, Soul was training a bunch of younglings. So he probably tried to train her and it didn't work out correctly. And and plus, Osha probably was still feeling the loss of her family because she just lost her family. She was calling for them in May. Then she was worried about them. But then I'm like, well, you wanted to leave them. Now you worried about them. You weren't going to see them ever again. So now all of a sudden you're concerned. <laughs> and she saw them dead and all of that and it's like okay so that's how it's looking and then may was on the beam and the beam fell and it looked like may looks like she may have died but at the end you know what i'm saying at the end she um practically was fine looking up and looking like she was lost like she ain't know what was going on so that's what happened in episode three and everybody is basically like this was trash all the star Wars fans are mad <laughs> everybody was pissed off because you had this scene my thing is this and this is just the thing what do star Wars fans want 
George Lucas is not making it no more. He's not. You're not going to get what you want. You're not going to get what you think you want. George Lucas, my issue with George Lucas was George Lucas, when he sold it, he should have sold it to people who knows what the hell they're doing. He looked at the money he was going to get. He looked at he ain't got to make nothing else no more. And that's what he did. Or that's what he's done. But the issue that you're having with Star Wars and his fans are they want everything to be like the, the first ever Star Wars and it's never going to be like that. It's not. I hate to tell you guys that. I hate to, you know, piss on your parade, but it's not going to be the same anymore. And you could tell from watching this. Now everybody is is mad and and everybody's going to probably talk trash. And it's like I I don't understand. Um Force Awakens, I didn't like it because Finn should have been the Force wielder. Um Ray could have been a Force wielder as well, but Finn should have been the Force wielder. They lied to me on that. Um, Last Jedi was going good. <laughs> Last Jedi was straight to me. I didn't like the third one because they just destroyed everything they did in The Last Jedi, which was stupid. You should have left the Emperor dead. And what you should have done was you should have OP'd um, Kylo Ren and had Kylo Ren ruling the galaxy destroying things conquering things and showing that he was the new vader it was open for you to do that and you didn't do that <laughs> you just basically just <laughs> you just basically just 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 shitted on it and this is the problem that i've been having and ever since then that's when i realized it's like okay That's when I realized these mofos don't know what the hell they're doing, and she doesn't. Now, Acolyte, I love the first two episodes. The third episode, I like the third episode because it was very intriguing, and it's something for us to, you know, it's a mystery. Um, we're going to see where this leads us. Did I love how they kind of destroyed all the other lore? I don't really think they did. The thing is, these people are creating something. They're creating a story. That's it. They're not trying to follow the rules or follow this or follow that. And that's the problem I place on um, George Lucas. George Lucas should have gave them a pamphlet and showed them what to do and what not to do. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to stick to the lore of Star Wars. They don't. They practically wanted to um, put something together. They were like, okay, we put this we put this together. We, They're like, we put this together. Now they're just going to take it. And hardcore um, Star Wars fans aren't going to do that. Hardcore Star Wars fans don't care. Like, if you don't follow the lore to a T, they're not going to like your show. Me, I love Star Wars. I grew up on Star Wars. Um, do I think people are too crazy over it like Star Trek? Yes, absolutely. Um, do I think that... The, do I think they... Do I think they're ever going to make... <laughs> are they ever going to make... Um, a great Star Wars again, unless probably John Favreau's a part of it. Now, if John Favreau's a part of it, then yeah, you know, they'll make a good one. But Kathleen Kennedy, you knew she was gonna throw in this crap with with the blacks, and then she was gonna have, you know, the LGBTQ in this. You know that. 
You know what she was finna do. So I knew this was gonna happen. I wasn't shocked. <laughs> I wasn't surprised. Like nothing like shocked me. Um it's like okay, whatever. So I looked at the story to see where it was going. Um, they basically created these twins from the force, it looks like. Um, Anakin, does it destroy what Anakin was? No, what, what destroyed Anakin and all of that stuff was the way George Lucas made those last films. He should have made it the way he made the last films. He rushed Anakin and Padme together. He should have, he should have did another movie along with those four he tried to do another trilogy he should have just did another he should have just did four after he did the original and then that would have explained how their love came together he should have split the clone war um the second one he should have split it into two movies my opinion But it is what it is. But um, this episode, you still had mystery. You don't know who actually. I think the Jedi's or Soul or one of them killed her um family off. But a lot of the Star Star Wars people are upset. People are saying, "Oh, it was born and stuff." It wasn't born at all. Um, I watched it. I was intrigued by watching it. I mean, it was like Andor. Andor was very long and boring, but it was a great story. Um, it was a great story, and then at the end, it picked up. You know, I just think people's attention spans are very small now. Do I think it's the best Star Wars ever? No. I mean, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's good for what we have. It's a story like let's wait till it's over to destroy it and pick it apart. But we don't. We're a part of this community is we're going to tear something down without actually watching the whole thing. You guys did this with Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon. <laughs> Y'all tore Rebel Moon down and it's like, look, Rebel Moon is an entertaining movie. I like the pace of it. I like the character development. Everything is straight like everything is not going to be godfather <laughs> you know what i'm saying and i think people fail to realize that you know like give it a chance to see and then afterwards you know if you like it cool if you don't you don't you know just give it a chance watch the whole series We've just watched three episodes and y'all already killing it. I really hate it. Part three. It's like, okay, what it is part is episode three. <laughs> it's split up. Now, if the next episodes are pretty good or decent, then what you going to say? It's all a part of one thing. Everybody had a problem with it because you had the wokeness they call it and it's not even woke they stole the wokeness from they stole it from the black community who actually did research and broke down where they came from our ancestry our history they took it from us and made it homosexual that's what they do with Black History Month they try to throw homosexuals in there they try to make then they said black is the new orange. They always want to tie black people to the gay community. Just like with the WNBA, they do the same thing. When I was watching the WNBA, there were no lesbians out there like that. And now all of a sudden, they want to make it tied to black folks. You got the WNBA celebrating Pride Month. What do they show? Black women with white women. In the NBA, they don't do that because the NBA is not dumb. <laughs> They're not going to torpedo their league and have a man, a black man with a white man. That's going to kill everything. You got to understand, you have families who come to these games who watch. They don't want to see their favorite player kissing a girl. 
And that's what people don't understand about marketing. You market your stuff to families and to different people. Now, if you market to certain people, then you you do your thing. You do you do what you got to do. Now, what did I give this episode? I gave this episode like two and a half out of four. Um, the last three, the last two episodes, I gave three and a half out of four. Um, I like the pacing. I love the energy of it. This episode, I give two and a half out of four because you're pushing in an agenda instead of focusing on the story. You were telling a good story, but what you messed up at was what you messed up at was you were trying to appease all these groups and this is the problem with storytelling this the storytelling about the twins about how everything was going was great and then you had the the little quarrel with the I don't need a man group (laughs) you know but it wasn't even just that I also didn't like how they just showed all of the people dead. Like, how did they die? Like, we didn't see, like, what happened to them. Plus, now they wanted to make it more of a mystery. Which I was like, I understand. But, I felt like the pacing was kind of slow. Um, they dragged out way too many scenes. Like, listen, we know OSHA wants to go. We know she. we, we want her to leave. But stop trying to bring back this her and her sister fighting and all of this. And then, you know, the black mom or whatever, or the black dad, whatever she is, he, she, I don't know. (laughs) She basically is trying to tell them, no, you need to pay attention. And, And to me, like, she just... To me, she should have been more forceful. They should have made, they made her more of the lovable parent. And then the white lady, they basically made her the mean one. But she listened to whenever the black lady says something. It's like, why? (laughs) What should have happened was cut all that shit out. They should have had the black chick being in charge. Basically, cut out the part where the girl was carrying them. That's it. We didn't need that part about, oh, she was carrying them because now you just show, oh, well, we don't need no man. We can create our own babies. We don't need the man's, we don't need the man's ball sack or his penis in which life is formed because when we stick our meat inside of you and we release that's when you have a kid, but now you got all this technology that take your your sperm, put it in an egg, and then now these LGBTQ women are walking around carrying babies. Their partner's a woman because they took their eggs or, or whatever, took whatever, dog. It's, they're doing too much. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> you should have just cut that part out and just said that I created them. I can do whatever the hell I want to do with them. That's what she should have said. Now get your ass back in line before I use the force to blow your ass up. That's what should have been done. Not no I carried them and all it is. It's like, oh my gosh, are we for real? <laughs> is this what we're doing? This is what we're doing? America, this is what we doing. This is what we doing, right, America? And this is what's wrong with America today. You got too many of this pride shit. All these sissies and soft ass folk around here. Instead of just making a story. You did not have to have a story where she was like, oh, well... I carried them. She didn't need to carry nothing. The story was good. That's why I give it two out and a half. Then I give it two and a half because it's like 
The girls are too old to learn the force. They're too old. And I'm glad Sino, shout out to him and Star Wars Theory and all of them. They're too old. So why would you bring, of course it wouldn't work with Osha when you brought her to the Jedi. Because she's attached. Her family was just killed. She lost her sister. What do you expect? It's like, what are we doing here? You were on the right track with the story and you just had to F it up. What you should have done was you should have had the Jedi's coming in and thinking that you guys are trying to do an evil plan or whatever. You should have had the Sith working on this. The Sith, you should have had the Sith around. The Sith should have been involved with this. You should have had a Sith Lord in the back telling the telling the black chick yo we're going to create these twins we're going to make them powerful we're going to make them siths but we're just going to say witches just to be a code word or whatever you know something like that something different no you had to make it about the i don't need a man click and two women who were married damn near arguing over why Osha acting like, man, Osha don't want to be around women all day. Osha want to see the world. <laughs> Shit, Osha don't want to be there and she don't want to be around me. Just like, damn, can I have my own style? <laughs> why I got to do everything May do? <clears throat> why I got to do everything May do? That's what they do now. So I, I don't know it. Like I said, I would have done a lot of things different. Um, they should have cut that part out and just said that she created them and she should have been more talking to a Sith Lord. They should have had a Sith Lord in there pulling the strings and basically telling her like, yes. And then the Jedi's come then you could have had the Jedi's turn rogue or whatever I don't know like it, that's what I would have done but this episode was the weakest of the three I give it two and a half out of four um it's, it's watchable but it's, it's not gonna all you're gonna remember is bad about it and instead of a, a of a intriguing storyline that you had they had an intriguing storyline the storyline was good. Everything was flowing. <clears throat> and then you had to come with that line. I carried them. I created them. And then you had the Jedi's there when they weren't supposed to be because the girls are too old. So why are the Jedi's there? You could have had the Jedi's there looking for Sith activity. Dark side activity. That's what you should have done. But... Kathleen Kennedy and them don't have any range. They don't know what they're doing. They're too busy trying to focus on the agenda than the actual story. I'm out. Deasy.